somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn folks today we are taking a look at 2015 southpaw this has jake gyllenhaal which makes me incredibly happy because i love everything he is in this is a first time watch for me uh, i remember when we were asking hey guys have you seen this i was like i don't know maybe i did uh oh no that was warrior with tom hardy that i saw so uh i'm really excited for this one gyllenhaal crushes it like I said, in everything he does, this should be great. I have not seen it. Definitely a first time watch for me, but I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see if he can live up to how good he was in Roadhouse at fighting. <laughs> yeah. That was like, so fun. Look, Mason Quinn nailed it. Um, <laughs> Gyllenhaal is, is pretty much a, a Grand Slam artist with uh, the run he's been having over the course of the last decade and even career. Longer. So, yeah. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, I'm pumped up for this one. All right, without further ado, let's go! Yeah, we back. We back in the dressing room now. Yeah. How did you get there? It just amazes me how much like tape and stuff and everything they put on their hands for yeah. boxing. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I love you too. Hey, Jane. Look at them shoes. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. Hey, Mo. What's up? What's up? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm you ready? Oh! Just ate that right Orange in the teeth. Jones. This kid, Jones, is super fast. Oh, Jillian Hall is shredded. Yeah, no surprise there. They got Jake all ripped up. Oh! Keep them hands up! Protect them all! Let's go! As Jones drives him back with another up. He is Whoa, just is eating those punches. He's like Rocky. He's gonna let him tire himself out. As he drives Hope back into the ropes again. Still laughing. It won't work. Take many more. It's gonna flow. Yeah, he's fixing the eye. We've seen Billy Hope win fights in the past, looking even more the worse for wear than is the case here. Light heavyweight contender Miguel Magic Escobar. Don't stand in front of him. Right. Do me a favor. Keep those hands up. <laughs> <laughs> Round ten about to begin. Watch the jab. Watch the jab. Billy Hope. Oh, well, he watched it. Yeah. Right in his face. By the side. Two. Oh, oh. Right. Drives Jones back in the ropes. That's one of the best clean shots Hope has landed. Oh. Oh, no. oh put him down. Wow. Come on, me. What a shot. You're good. You're good. All right. I'm good. 20 weeks. I'm going to let him keep fighting. Oh. oh. I guess he wasn't good. That's it. This is over. WBA, WBO champion of the world. Looks like there was a kid at home sick or something on the text message there. Yeah, it said daddy won. Well, daddy so. won. Yeah, and she said something like it still hurts. <laughs> Chilling on <laughs> the monster in this. Ooh. Hey, John John. We got a press conference. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. It's night. I'm not, baby. I don't know where it's coming from. I'm just it's fine, baby. You want some water? Can you get your socks off? Yeah, I'll just shower in it. Ugh. Yeah, and all the adrenaline's wearing off. Mm hmm. Billy, most of us here had you winning this early. I expected a hard fight. You know, um, by the way, Layla, if you're watching, go to sleep, baby. <laughs> you're 43 and 0. Oh, wow. Who are you going to fight? No, that's really Jordan. Me. No one. Oh. Me. All I want is my shot. I just want my shot. Sorry. I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> oh. You know exactly who I am, baby. You ain't never been hit by a real man. Okay. All right. Why are you so scared to fight me, Billy? Billy, got to fight him? Yeah, all right. Y'all have a good night. That's all. Is there going to be a fight? I want you to line it up. So it just makes sense. You think you think Miguel's a better fighter? No, I didn't say that. Uh, oh. Ooh. Yo, yo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. 
That's how we leave the studio every every oh. time we get done. Yeah. He really nailed the accent in this movie too. Ooh. That's the guest house. Yeah. <laughs> she might be sleeping. Hey. Yeah, she's probably still waiting up for you. Tell me she didn't watch that fight. Huh. Hmm. He's got the boxing gloves on in the picture. <laughs> oh, I saw you. I'm coming for my hug. <laughs> I miss you so much. Can I count? Mm-hmm. Eight. Mm. Yeah, you should see the other guy. No, she should not. She needs to go to bed. And so do you. Why can't I go see the fights? I watched The Walking Dead. It's gory. <laughs> oh, okay, that's going to stop. <laughs> that's going to stop. Is this... had a phone for two months. Why are you looking at me like I'm crazy? Because you asked me to get her the phone? I think your daddy confuses you with the other children who hang around him night and day. Talking about Mikey and John John, that's right? right? I love you so much. I'm serious. Hey, get away from my daughter. You, get out. <laughs> 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 what would you like? I want to take a break. Why? I like what I saw tonight. Maybe look at your face. What are you talking about? Your face. What if I said this? Look at your face. And then I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but good. you fucking scared me. We won tonight. Yeah, but it's the way you're fighting. Yeah. yeah he's taking a lot of hits. The way I fight bothers this house. Fighting. But I want to enjoy it. Where is this with you? For? She wants him to retire. This is a good night. I Mama's. love you. You are all I care about. The three of us. That's it. That's all that matters. You're going to be punch drunk in two years if you keep this up. Think about her when she graduates. What do you want to look like? You say don't do it. All right? You say don't do it. They're all going to keep you in that Billy the Great bubble, you know? But baby, when that bubble pops, they're all just going to scatter like roaches. That's true. Mm -hmm. And me and Layla are going to be here to pick up the pieces. What's that? I only made 10 rounds tonight. So do you know what that means? You got two more left. <laughs> two rounds left in me. <laughs> oh. You want to go two rounds with me, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Ah. Oh, well, throw those sheets out. Yeah. No. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Those body shots add up. I say this. He's supposed to be shown he's swollen up there on the side. That's <laughs> weird. You normally wouldn't. I mean, unless somebody you're kind of sideways and somebody gets you on the back a little. Man, I, I don't know that much about boxing, but that seems like unusual bruising. Yeah. Uncle Dad, watch. Not too high, baby. Yeah, she's a kid. <laughs> Put that together, people over at HBO. It's a two year three fight deal. Whoever wins. Yo. <laughs> it's one of these. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, I owe some shit to the government. Let me hawk this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna have to. Well, I mean, Billy's been my fighter for ten years. And I've been his wife for like a hundred. You know all of the fighters is coming to me are coming to me because of my relationship with Billy. It's we family more. You know. Oh. Oh man, we were talking about you. Jump with me. Okay. Oh pff, yeah, I don't <laughs> think he's jumping anytime soon. Billy, I told Maureen, yeah. I got HBO to commit. I just told you, we're passing on to Ray. Come on. I'll come. Uh, I just want to thank everybody from the children's club. My mother had me when she was incar incarcerated. I don't do this. I can't do this. Hey, 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 they love you. Those kids love you. And it's for them. Let's go so we can get home, OK? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, she is holding things together. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. And it is very important, OK? I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> the light heavyweight champion of the world, Billy Hall. I wouldn't be up here tonight if it wasn't for the for for the children's club. They gave me a home uh, when I was when I was tw when I was twelve years old. There was this little girl. She was skinny. She had ratty hair. She had been through it. I wouldn't be here without my wife, Maureen. Oh. Take some of that money and, and give it. Give it, give us that sh**. <laughs> All right, I, I would be giving some money that I love that ending. Says, that's a level above swagger. That's that new right. sh**. Hey, Billy, why you leaving so soon? Come on, I'm just trying to sell the fight. What the fuck? Oh, Don't give him any. What, I got your bitch to talk to you? Billy, let that go. <coughs> oh. 
Let's go. How about this? I'll take your bitch, then I'll take your belt. Philly. I'll take your belt. Bitch. Oh! We're doing this now. That's a full on Ooh, melee. Yeah, this is right at the charity. That's not good. Oh! Oh, we got stuff popping off. Oh, shit. Oh, she got hit? I don't know what to do. Am I okay? Am I okay? You're okay. You're okay. Focus some help. Oh, I had to ditch the piece. I'm gonna go. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Hey, look, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me in the eyes, baby. Baby, look at me in the eyes. Oh, no. Look at me in the eyes. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Oh, no, no. I love you. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, we gotta go home. We gotta go home. You wanna go home? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Baby, stay, stay, stay. Baby, no. No, no. Wow. We're sorry to hear about your loss. We're gonna try to make this as uh, simple and easy as possible. No one's talking or they don't want to be involved. But what time is it? It's 6 a.m. But one of your crew uh, had a weapon on him. Unfortunately, he didn't have a permit to carry. My daughter wakes up at 6. Dude just lost his wife and they've had him in a police station till 6 a.m. Well, I'm wondering if he was in the hospital uh, until then. Hey baby, you hungry? I'll, I'll go down the kitchen and get you something to eat. Oh. Mommy leaves it on. Mm, sorry, baby. Daddy. Yeah, baby. Never mind. Okay, sleep. Hi. You know where you been, Billy? We've been trying to get in touch with you. I just hope you're not trying to do anything stupid, like going after Miguel Axe. What do you want to talk about? You the one had the house to look after her, huh? Cow. Yeah. Hector! I opened the door. Who is it? I'm looking for Hector. I got some money for him. You got a hit? Are you his wife? I don't have to be. Who the f is he? Hmm? Kiss me. Come on, baby. Oh. Hey, I need a hit. Yo, you got a hit? Wow. Hey! All your taxes are due, including your property taxes. The money, it's drying up. You want Layla to grow up the way you grew up? You want in the streets? It's a three fight deal, bro. Let's to get back to doing what we do, man. Right? I don't know what I'd do without you, man. You ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> Nobody would have expected Galil Turek. Eight weeks. Against Billy Hoop. It's got to be barely healed up after eight weeks. Well, with the way that his last fight went, yeah. Colts finally gets in the right hand. Focus, on it. you hear me? Huh? I'm not going to watch this. I'm not going to watch this happen to you, man. I'm not going to watch this happen to us. If you don't show me something here, I'm going to call it. That's it. Remember when we were done? When we were done, we used to fight. They keep looking out the rain for Maureen. He's losing his f***ing mind, bro. Oh, what's he doing hanging with, with him? Hands up, fight focus. You have to fucking win. Well, I guess he said all the boxers come to him. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's still pretty greasy. Hmm. Jesus, he doesn't even have his hands up. Oh. Billy Hope has refused to compete here tonight. No, don't call it. That's it. It's up. It's up. Oh. oh! Belly? Is Jordan here? Is anybody still here? Like Marine said. Just like she said. You can't put a referee, man. What the kind of shit was that, man? We did the biggest deal that we ever did, Bill. And you fed it off, man. A year before your suspension is up for review, which means zero income. He's suing you for lost wages and emotional trauma. You're gonna have to sell a house to oh, cover the debt. Sell the house, Dad, well, I don't need another trainer. I get to see Ellie, Ellie's working with another fighter. Oh, who is he, who is he? Miguel Escobar. Oh. 
Are you working with him too? Yeah. On to the next guy. Oh, it's you... just business feeling. Oh yeah. I thought it was family. Yep. I fucking quit. Thank you. Can't do this anymore, Billy. I'm trying to like rope you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Baby, let's go. Let's go home. Oh. oh, she's going to find him. I'm sorry. Dad? Oh. Dad? Daddy, what happened? Somebody help me! Somebody! And there's nobody. What kind of medicine, Mr. Hope? What did you take? Where's my baby? My daughter's fine, Mr. Hope. She's the one who called 911. You were in an accident. We found you with the loaded weapon under the influence with a minor. Baby? Baby? Uh. My daughter's with child services. They're looking after her right now. Oh, it's fine. Okay, who wants this coffee? So I'll provide that. I promise by day's end. It's okay with you. This was a Daddy. Oh. Sit down. Sit down, Billy. Thank you. We're ready to begin. Provisional custody of Layla Ray Hope. I want my daughter back. <laughs> I'm her father. Unfortunately, that's not enough. Mr. Hope will follow a case plan that the court has designed. I order said child remanded into the care of the family services. What? Party's back in 30 days. 30 days? Oh. Please, I don't I'm sorry, Ryan. I don't want to. I'm stay with you. Oh, Auctions tomorrow. Oh, it's all going to auction. Start, Chip. Even took the bed. Yeah, it's just a house. Yeah. Mm. Hey, yo, thanks for uh, thanks for taking me. No, it's never here for the money. You know that. I'm sorry, Billy. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, he, he, as you can see from the honey, he definitely wasn't there. Yep. For the money. Well, you what? You want me to come with you? No, man, no. Sure. No, oh, man, I'm going to. Yeah, take this. Gift in it. I'm taking this. So you stay safe. All right. You too. And he's driving that car, and he kept the watch. That's yeah. a lot about him. Yep. Yeah, I never... So is he going back to where he started, or is that where the one dude trains? Hey, yo, John, John. Yo, say hi to Mikey and Gabe, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is probably where he started. Yeah, starting back over. Probably see if he can get a couple of fights, get some cash together. Yeah, but at the same time, he's got to do like anger management and, yep, and all that stuff. But he, so he how does he's got to have uh, an all to, to bring her back to, though? <sighs> There's the man right there. That's it. Good work. Oh, the little one more hit after the bell rings. Oh, he did this. Nice. Give me 50. Yo, team. It's Billy Hope over there. You take Wells. So what brings Billy Hope into my job? I'm looking for, uh, you know, a place to train. Trainer? <laughs> well, currently, I am not a pro fighter. Do you think I don't know that? <laughs> <laughs> does it say in there that they took my kid away from me? Yeah, it does. Night Train was the only fighter to beat me. I know you were his trainer, and that's why I'm here. So the thing is, you couldn't handle the rules here, man. You're no drinking, no drugs, no playing around. It's my job to protect these kids. I'm here to train them so they can grow up and be men. You ready to work? Yeah, fuck. I'm in. No swear. Did I tell you no swear? <laughs> Boxing is not a, about this. Boxing's about this. Yeah, all right. This, uh, yes, I'm uh, not that. <laughs> Are you intoxicated? I'm good, man. I'm, I'm straight. Did you see this? All right. I also need a job. I need to prove to the court that I can hold a job. The night man who just had a stroke and he was cleaning this whole place up. Wow, you, well, you want me to clean your f***ing toilets? 
Oh, is that what you think of me? Do you need a job or not? Nah, this, nah. Yeah. Uh, that's gotta be, I mean, what was it? Uh, three months ago, he was on top of the world, mm -hmm. you know? Not even. First day of the month. There's a light. Three keys, this work, the other. I never thought I'd see one of these places again, Billy. Hey, tell Layla hi for me. Can I help you? I'm, I'm Layla, I'm here's my, seriously, my daughter. Where can I see Layla? Well, as we go up to this form, what is your current address? I'm staying at the Tasta right now. And have you secured employment yet? Yeah. Where? A gym, at the gym. And who gave you that employment? I got it myself. But who gave you the job? Because <laughs> we're about to see Layla, so I want to know what kind of shape you're in. <laughs> I'm a <f> mess. <laughs> and you think I should let you see your daughter when you're a mess? I want to help Layla. That's my first priority. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's all f***ed up. Oh. You okay? Oh, Can you boy. give us a second? You're all right. I'm just over here. Did somebody touch you? Somebody hurt you? No, there's nothing to say. You f***ed up. Look, I know that you're mad at me right now. You don't know, know anything. Can wait, we go wait, outside wait, now? Wait, wait. Hey. Yes, you can. Is that your dad? I don't know anymore. Oh. Buying beer. I'll take that job. Damn, so Tick stays at the gym full time. Relax, 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 relax. One, two. The pull. The back. Can I get that for you, champ? What's your name? Poppy. My mom liked the bunnies, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think that. Is that even looking? You can't do everything in one day. You hear me? Yes. All right. Good. Mr. Hope, can I speak to you for a moment, please? Uh, she doesn't want to see you today, but I think we have to give her some space. She said that. Yes, she did. Last night's fight, Manager Escobar defeated Khalil Teray by knockout. Oh, so he worked him. Now you mean? Okay. How about, let me check my schedule. I'm waiting for you. Uh-huh. Oh, he said he doesn't drink. Yeah. Well, she said she didn't drink. But you think a man can't pick up a new habit? You know what you're going to do with all this training that you think you're so desperately needing? You're not going to fight, and then I'm going to get my kid back. Then you're going to end up right back here? What do you think you did to be sitting here? I don't. I just told you what. What did you do? Can't even hear the question. <laughs> even like, that's funny to you. See that? That's what this. That's what. That's why you here. Oh, I'm sorry. I never really had any plans. All right. My wife always made the plans for me. My daughter doesn't right. really want to see me right now. Little kid, man. She's a little girl. Even if she hates you, you gotta let her hate you. You gotta let her go through her thing. Then you can deal with black like that stuff. Boxing, whatever you want. Hey, come on. Come here, huh? Let's go. Jam. Yeah, make it active. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. She used to sleep with us. You give that to her. Make sure she gets that. Yeah. Tell her I love her. We start tomorrow. Will I training? No, baking cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the bar. I did not want to see you there. <laughs> <laughs> anger is your biggest tool. Fighting angry, that drains you. God protects yourself. Make his mistakes be his destruction. This is the wall, right here. My back's against the wall. Roll. Just step and slide. My, my wife would have liked you. I appreciate that. Good, I'm good. 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 I'm going to introduce you to something that you never knew before. Defense. It's called defense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember they said, what is oh, that? Oh, it's up. Uh, uh, oh, God. I want you to spot with a uh, Oh, it's going to yeah, drive me nuts. Like, he's a, a boxer, a real, a real oh. famous boxer. At least I'm 99% sure that's who it is. You know, you hit nothing. You work on your defense. Come on, champ. Victor, Victor, Victor. Ortiz, maybe? Is that Victor Ortiz? Uh, it would be Victor Ortiz. It's set in the opening credits. Oh, it did say Victor oh, Ortiz. It said it? Victor Ortiz. Oh, okay, okay. Now that you said that name, oh, yeah, okay. I saw in the credits. Get up the rope. 
What? 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 Like fighting a neck. <laughs> <laughs> and it's 50 for swearing. 50 for swearing. Yeah. That's right. You know? Okay, Actually, good. Tell you what happened to your glasses, baby. They're not cool. Quiz me. I may need the definitions too. Dismantle. D I S M A N T L E. So smart. He put that tattooed arm up right there. This scene. Great, great. That's all. Unfortunately, Mr. Hope, legal custody of the child shall remain with Family Services until further evaluation. Thirty, not thirty, not thirty days. Yes, Mr. Hope. You're free to go. Well, at least he didn't have an outburst. Yeah, held that together. So, yeah. What are you only doing in the courtroom today? All right. How's your eye? How's your eye? No, he beat smart. Buster Quickly was a nothing fighter. We were in the middle of a match. Out of nowhere, he hit me. Bam! With a right hand. Doc told me I could never fight again. It was tough today in court. You kid, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. That story even true? What is that? That's a fake eye. Yeah. The HMO screwed up. Like that blue eyed devil story, brother. Yeah, we too. Oh, I wonder what really happened. I'm, I'm guessing it was some the fight. Oh. Or maybe he like was on the fast track and he screwed up like yeah like he did something with drinking like hope did yeah. you know, uh, he's working with chief the bus brady light heavyweight kid won the golden gloves and they were doing this uh charity event and they want to know if you want to go eight rounds with brady good seeing you tech let me know nice meeting you bill all right i just got one condition better do what we practice to he's kind of nice to be wanted yeah <laughs> hey you know what um you don't worry about Hoppy. We're wearing the same set of clothes for the past two days. He and his dad went out after his mom left. His mom left? Yeah. His mom having some struggles. You should find out if he ain't got a place to stay. If he's out on the street, then we can figure out where we can put him, what we need to do, all right? All right. Oh, yeah. No, he's, right, let's pay it forward, I guess. Yeah. Let's say it. Or Kodog's like a country or something like that. Can we just get out of here? The judge uh, said it's going to be another month. And then fight again. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a charity thing, you know what I mean? Can I go? Well, you know mommy didn't like you watching the fights. Well, somebody has to be there. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. I don't think I can work that out. I have to be there, Dad. Maybe I'm trying to get you out. When? Oh, uh, she needs that. Yeah, she needs to be able to. I hate you. I hate you. Don't just, just trust me. Ella. Come on, Ella. baby. You should have been the one that was killed. Oh. They hate you. Hey. Yeah, he's doing the D. This round, this round. I need, to, I need to be more and more aggressive, okay? For points, not for blood. Keep it calm. Second time. Damn, damn. Second time. Uh, go for points, not for blood. That's interesting. Well, it's an I mean, exhibition. It's a exhibition, yeah. So. Oh, boy. He's got to keep it under control here. It's going to be a big test. Get the head, Move. Move the butt. Way to move the butt. That's it. That's it. Oh, geez, oh, of course. It's just business. Yep. Just trying to find a way to make some money. Uh, yeah, in his defense, Billy put him in a pretty bad, tough spot. Yeah, you that's know. true. So he, he, didn't, he, he didn't go too nuts with the punches. No, he, did. Right. he just got the points, just, stayed steady, played defense. Yeah, he warmed yeah. on. He's got Tell Vela I'm okay, yeah. and Daddy won. <sighs> Beautiful. Beautiful fight, man. Hey, thanks. How'd you like to fight for that title? Mm, cut the bullshit. Not the kind of get your early review. Get your license back. What's the plan? Vegas. Six weeks. Six weeks? Oh. Get ready for a fight in six weeks with the champ? Jordan. You did a great job with the fight. Put yourself in the van. It's a great opportunity, Billy. He's not going to want him to fight in six I weeks. I don't think so. Well, I think he just doesn't want him to get involved with 
Yeah. So, title shot, Vegas, six weeks. Really? You know what that's about, right? Yeah. It's going to sound it like it's uh, a revenge match. Round the middle of your wife. Yeah. It'll all be by mom. I got to make some money, man. I can't lose yeah. my girl. I can't do this without you. I don't train profilers. What are you saying to me that if, if someone came in and offered the boys a pro shot, you wouldn't give it to them? All I need is a six weeks. I'll give you my everything. This is about my family. Come on. Yeah. I got nothing to say to you, man. I mean, and Bobby knows what it is going into it. So, I mean. Sick. Mm -hmm. Who's winning? You know how he died. What? What? Oh, Tried to protect his mom, and his dad shot him. <laughs> when you told me that his mom left, I should have known right then. What kind of, what kind of shh is this? You know what Hoppy told me? Hmm. You a dream crusher. It's like I don't want to want to want them 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 games they play. Like I'm, I'm the dream crusher. <laughs> you think that you can uh, beat magic? No, not without you. Promise me something. Whatever happens, you still keep taking care of yourself. And you take care of your daughter. Mr. Hope, after careful review of your file, I'm going to remove the visitation restrictions. Good job, Mr. Hope. All right, finally. Get new shoes? No, I've had these. For a half second, that looked like the corner store that Adrian worked at in Rocky. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, it's like, wait know. a minute. Is they throwing back a, a throwback? A little Easter egg, maybe? Yeah. How come you won't let me come? God, because I told you. I told you it wasn't up to me. Well, it's up to you now. She was the one who always made all the decisions, you know. She <laughs> me. I didn't, she didn't make them, you know, not so much. Mom always said we had to take care of you. No, baby, that's not how it's supposed to work, all right? I'm supposed to take care of you. Sure, you don't want to eat something. It's just... Oh, Dad. Can we go see her? Oh, is he oh even yeah, gone? he hasn't even been He's, there yet. At least uh, we haven't more, seen it. Yeah, because he was... I miss you a lot, Mom. More, more than ever. He's a guy from the hotel when, when mommy was killed. They're gonna say a lot of crazy things. And he's gonna scare you. Did mommy get scared? Yeah, but she's all the time. time. <laughs> I'll wait in the dressing room, but I have to be there. Yeah, you got a deal, baby. There's Eminem song. Uh, this is Eminem. They say Billy Hope can make it. you. You find yourself. I want you to switch and go south far. If the foot moves through with you, same time. It's like it's connected by a string. Hello again. I'm Jim Lampley. As we welcome you live to our coverage of... There we go. This evening could produce a great story of redemption. What chance is there that Hope could come back and win? The cards are stacked against Hope. Um, his age, um, the fact that he's been off. Billy Hope. Just so coming out with a black sleeve with yeah. Dion kind of makes you think of Tyson when he used to just come out with the towel. Yep, mm -hmm. does. Are we taking bets here, fellas? <laughs> what do you think the outcome is going to be here? Uh, tears. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know because, I mean, like. It could go either way. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if he comes back and wins, awesome. If he comes back and just puts through a good fight and mm -hmm. kind of gets back to, you know. In the six-week buildup of this fight, has kept saying, all business, this isn't about all that other stuff. It's just about, we're going to fight. The King of Kings. Now here comes Miguel Escobar. Come on, that's Triple H. Everybody knows that's Triple H. <laughs> Not often we talk about Colombian fighters. Most of them come with an astronomical amount of punching power, but not skills. Oh, look at the odds on the bottom oh, there, 18%. 18%. But this kid is a boxer puncher with great speed, great power. Now promoted by Jordan Maines, the man who architected Billy Hope's career. You have a good fight. Only gave him six weeks to train. Hope's longtime trainer, Ellie Brooks, trains Escobar against him tonight. Yeah, but he trained him as a right-hander, not yeah. a southpaw. Yep. I want a good, clean fight. Let's go. Round one begins. Good to you. Escobar getting off, but Hope comes back. There you go. Come on, Billy, now. Come on. Escobar. Oh, nice. <laughs> She's getting into it. Yeah. 
People hit him with the left hook. Surprising him. He's holding, Rick, he's holding. Let him go, I got you. You flew. Ooh, he snuck that in one in there. You didn't see that? You didn't see that? Escobar has drawn okay. blood right here in round one. God, and it's always been his left eye. Yep. Fast, motherfucker. It's all right. It's all right. You fast. Just do all the work, though. You make him miss. Make him pay. Round two begins, and it's hope. Who's the aggressor at the beginning? And Billy's doing just the opposite of what a boxer is supposed to do. You're supposed to hit. Hey. Billy is not hitting and getting the hell knocked out of him. Come on, Billy. Move your head. Move your head. Watch that right. Just keep the pace. You just be working with your side. First couple of rounds seem to have gone Escobar's way. Oh, that was a good hit. Yeah. She needs to go out there. She's got to go out She's got to go out there. Chair. She has to. to begin working to the body. Oh, oh. the right down goes home. Four. Yep, he's looking. How's it look, Doc? I can see him. Right. Right. Yeah, good, 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 good. good. Well, Hope fans would say. I don't know if he was telling the truth there. He's trying to shell a few. Trying to shell a few. Back in the center of the ring, trying to tuck that injured left eye behind his front shoulder. Billy Hope didn't show up again until the blood started to flow from that left eye. I've never seen Billy Hope block a punch. <laughs> <laughs> this is Hope's best round so far. It's good. Stay in the show. She's rolling. She hit the move. The move's looking, Doc. Okay, you right. You good to go. Oh, no. His Ooh, eyes are starting to lose his cool. Yeah, he is. It's going to wear him out twice as fast. Let's go. Halfway through the 12 round. Oof. Yeah. He's getting frustrated. And now he fires back with a big right hand. We got this. We got this. And they're working hard to keep that right eye together. Working just as hard to keep Billy Hope's left eye in the fight. Get out there. Get out come there. on. I know. <laughs> as we come to the 11th and 12th, it's a close fight. Shake it off, buddy. Right. Tired, man. You were tired you all. You were f***ing trying to watch the team out of beat the guy, man. <laughs> He's losing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. losing it. Ready for this. He's way tired. He's oh. This is your time. This is your moment, baby. Holy oh, fuck. This is intense. I love how they're doing this. I remember seeing that as the teaser trailer. Him sitting on the chair like oh. that. Just looking exhausted. <laughs> this is why your wife can't save you now, bitch. Yes, she can't save you now. Oh, he's baiting him. What did he do to my dad? What happened to him? This one is yours. This one is yours. God is watching you. Your wife is watching you. I'm watching you. Your daughter is watching you. Don't let this man control you. Don't let him control you. Oh, God, I'm so pumped up right now. <laughs> I've been like goosebumps for like, the last like, half hour. Life damaging circumstances, including, of course, the unexpected death of his wife, Maureen. The softball is out. You go in there and you kick his ass. Oh, he's going to oh. go southpaw. Here we go. Oh, see, the bring you guy. You go out there and you... Beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go! Oh. Now Escobar comes back with his own combination. Tremendous upper cut right Oh, here. low blow. Tony Weeks is going to call it a low blow. It's hurting him. Good blow, Billy. Good blow. One point, low blow. Which could be critical to what should be very close scores. We're about a minute away from putting this. Oh, we don't want it to go to the judges. No. Yeah, you always have the champions. Yep. Well, and he, uh, 50 Cent paid off the judge, or the judges let that one fight. Oh! Lights! Oh. He is out. out! Wow, that was incredible. There's the goosebumps. Oh, he got up? Come on. Well, we know how this is going to go. Flourish, a very close fight. That may have been the two Champions advantage, though. Yep. 
We have a split decision. 115 to 113 for Miguel Escobar. Judge Ralph Froome sees 15 to 114 for Billy Hope. Ricky Keyless, 116 to 112. And the new <laughs> one! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> what? Let's go! Yes! <laughs> oh, I can't believe they gave it to him. I can't believe he won. Oh. Hope is on top again. Yes, you. We still oh. have hope. <laughs> what an amazing... <laughs> Moment of redemption. Just gotta go. Billy Hope. Out there, go out there. Ah, oh, man. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey, Tick. Come here. What? This is for you, man. No, no, no. That's that's hey. true. Hey. <laughs> hey, it's true. Uh, you gotta hang that up on the wall in the gym. Up there for the kids. Yeah. Oh, we did it. Hey. I'm scared for you. Oh. Scary. You and Mama would be so proud of you. Just go home, okay? Yeah. Just go home, okay? Just go home. It's the Oh, I feel like I've been in a fight. Oh, 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 I, I am drained, guys. Oh. What a what a film! Holy cow! Wow. I mean, talk about everybody just delivering. Unbelievable. Oh, I just feel I feel like I got worked over. Oh, okay. All right. Let's get this back on track here. Uh, first off, Jake Gyllenhaal and Forrest Whitaker, just absolute chameleons. They can become anything in their movies. Uh, I mean, I can't believe this is the same guy who was last time I saw him in, in one of the things I saw him. He was a uh, Mysterio yeah, in, in Spider-Man and the complete transformation that uh Jillian Hall did in this was incredible from obviously you know the physique that he had to get in and, and the shape he had to get into for this movie he had the accent that he was able to pull off absolutely flawlessly uh it just sucked me right in I believed every word I just felt like it was real life to me just incredible Forrest Whitaker an absolute legend another guy who everything he does it's perfection i mean two i i i think you'd be hard pressed to say that and i know that i just saw the movie and folks might say ah mason quinn you're in the moment but i think these two are easily two of the best actors of our generation i mean if not they're definitely up there and uh it, it's great that they keep doing different roles in different movies where they're not two guys who just hold out for the big blockbusters they'll do some of the smaller movies and i just i love to see that uh kurt sutter we know him from sons of anarchy he absolutely delivered on this one he hit us with a lot of the emotion that he he hit us with in sons of anarchy and so you could tell it had a lot of his style in here. He hit very much on the father, daughter, and the family dynamic, trying to pick up the pieces after losing a wife and a mother, which the way they portrayed that was, I could talk about that for a while because that was real incredible. The, the different scenes that they shot, just the little things they did. And that's what I want to talk about next. So look, you know, they gave uh, Bobby's character the, the tattoos on his arm, uh, fighter and father and they showed those in various scenes at very specific times when he was in the, uh, the, the, the the child protective services I guess you'd call it you know they had him in there when he was in the courtroom it was shown now you didn't see him there but he was shown the different sides of it and then there was a few scenes where they did show it obviously when he was holding Layla at the end they showed both of the tattoos so I really liked how that was kind of dropped in there and of course he had Maureen's tattoo on his neck and that was visible in some emotional scenes so I really liked how they did that uh, the other scene that it was very short and very uh, 
quick, I think, was the scene with uh, Layla in the car leaving the funeral and he wasn't there. He wasn't there with her. He was up on the hill and she was all by herself in the car and she just had that very quick scene where she broke down a little bit. And then, you know, when they went back to the house, he kind of still wasn't there. You know, I thought maybe, you know, he would like uh, be laying with her or something, trying to comfort her, but, you know, we didn't have that. He was going through his own thing. And I really liked the the line that Forrest Whitaker had, uh, that Tick had about, you know, she has to get that out. She has to be angry. She has to express her grief in her way and has to be to, to do that and the young actress uh, Una Lawrence if that's how you pronounce her what an amazing job she did in this I mean I, again we've talked about it before in some other movies that had some younger actors and you know these younger actors sometimes they can really make or break a scene and what a talent she is just a phenomenal job young lady you did an amazing job uh, I really liked how this also had kind of the little bit of the athlete's cautionary tale in there, you know, getting caught up, maybe trusting the wrong people. Uh, I'm conflicted and I want to hear what you guys think. I'm conflicted about 50 cents character because yes, it, it is business and we don't really know if he did anything outwardly wrong with Bobby, you know, other than, you know, wanting him to sign the big deal with HBO kind of okay get the show pony out there you know we gotta make some money but at the same time I don't they didn't lead me to believe that he did anything nefarious with like Bobby's finances or anything like that I don't oh as far as I, I don't think they showed that if I missed that uh let me know because that would obviously change how I feel about Jordan but uh you know he's just a promoter and it truly is business and when one guy slips down, he's on to the next one, and he and he was on to the to Miguel, the next fighter. So I, that was interesting because they didn't just make him a straight up bad guy. You were kind of conflicted about it, and I liked that. Um, and again, that that court scene with with Billy and Layla, where he was like, "No, you can't even hug your daughter. You can't nothing." They're pulling him away. I mean, that was a lot of emotion there. I mean, anybody who's a, you know who's a dad, or even if you're not a dad, I, I think you can get really choked up in that in that scene. That was that was a tough one. Uh, Gosh, other than that, this movie was just <laughs> outstanding. I know I went longer than normal on this one, but I feel this movie deserves that uh, to kind of get everything out there. And I'm sure these gentlemen will have a ton to say as well. But I absolutely love this. Just uh, everybody delivered in, in spades. This was incredible. Oh, yeah. There's nothing more you can say about that. I, I mean, I I mean, I haven't seen all of his movies, but I, I am willing to put this right up there with Jake Gyllenhaal's best work he's ever done the way he was committed to being Billy the Great I mean I'm sure he did he probably did de deprive himself of, of sleep so that way he could look that way like the like a down in the dumps Billy Hope I mean it, he seemed like he had everything going and this wasn't just like your classic Rocky IV where they and then came back from Rocky IV and he had no money because of you know guy made off with the money like and you said it right away too that with Maureen she was really keeping the fort down and she yeah. did it seemed it seemed like she was keeping it all intact and like wanted him to retire not just because of of you know we have enough money or this or that because she saw what was happening to him like he was barely able to walk he had to keep his socks on when he was showering he was spitting up blood like she wanted what was best for him because they came up together they were by each other's side and like it was so tough to see her go because you knew and you witnessed it with with Billy. I mean, he had a piece ready to be done with everything. He drove his car into a tree. Yeah, he, he almost was, wanted he was almost going to take out uh, Hector. He Hector and almost went at Hector's wife or whatever she wanted to call uh played by Rita Ora. So you just saw that struggle and then like even to where yeah tick is like yeah you can have a job you gotta clean the floors like what is this is this chair like you could tell yeah. it's like this is beneath me i want to yeah. you know this he it seemed like he was slightly delusional thing like all right i'm just gonna be down in the dumps for like a week or two the 30 days when they're up i'll get my daughter will be good know that this was to show him and make him learn that you know just as 
as, as hard as it was for him to get there, you're going to get taken yeah. away like that. And, you know, the first ship to fall was his wife, then was his daughter. And, like, the part that, you know, got me really choked up, the well, the first time, because there was, <laughs> yeah, there was plenty in this movie, because, like, they made you feel it. They really did. From Forrest to Jake to even Rachel to Luna, if that's by Lawrence, if you say her name, was when she said, though, <laughs> you need someone there when he was going to just do the charity fight and he's like, you can't come. And she's like, when she said you need someone there, it, it, it made me break because of, you know, Maureen was always that stable rock there for him that like she would tell him, all right, you know, like end this, let's stop this. He always you know, looked to her. He would always look to that seat. Even in the final fight, he looked at it and like, and then Miguel almost, you know, he said some choice words there. I'm, I'm not going to repeat them because they don't deserve it. And it almost drove Jake nuts, Billy nuts. And even his daughter's like, what did he say? What did he say? Yeah, what are that's they doing not, to my dad? That's not yeah. my dad. So, and it was forced take again, doing the words of encouragement. He's like, you, he's nobody. Calm down, calm down. Yeah. Your wife wants you to come. And you want it. And then him putting his head at the corner. We did it, baby. We can go home. I, I absolutely loved it. Yeah. It was great. Rachel McAdams great job for i wish she could have been in so much more but she was she was perfect in this role she did a great job everyone did great mm -hmm. i love this movie <laughs> yeah this this film was phenomenal and it's you know so after after we do these films we usually scroll through um imdb or wikipedia just to kind of um you know get some insight as to you know whether it won awards i mean we stay away from all this stuff before we do these films of course, look, we you hear pop culture references to certain things, so it's not like we can be completely, you know, um, you know, you know, blinders on everything with these films. But I, I find it curious that, look, I thought this movie was absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, I, I thought it was just unbelievable, and I see it got kind of mixed-ish reviews. And look, is is it the most like? groundbreaking plot of all time no i mean you could say in some regards like very loosely it, it mirrors rocky and then it mirrors other underdog stories where people lose a lot and kind of climb back to the top but when you have a when you have a story that's just solid like this was mm -hmm. and you have acting that was done oh, yeah. in this i mean like yeah. look we you know we 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 see this is what we do we watch movies and stuff and this performance by Jake and the performance by Forrest were just so emotional and you just felt it coming through the screen and you just believed their characters. And so for me, look, I, I don't need every time we sit down to a movie to be like, oh, that was wild, that was crazy. You know, I think of films like, like you know, everything everywhere all at once. You know, one of the best films I think we can all agree yeah. we've ever watched on this channel. Just a mind kind of, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, a crazy, crazy plot. And I don't always need that. Sometimes just a solid story. Um, you know, look, it's easy to make some comparisons to Rocky. Somebody came from nobody as a boxer, came up. Yep. Maybe he had a promoter. So if, if you haven't seen the Rocky movies, uh, you know, you're the one. Yeah, you're the one. <laughs> but so yes, yeah, so I don't want to be like spoilers. But of course, you know, we learn in Rocky three that after you know Rocky's, you know, you know, got the title from Apollo, that his 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 coach, his manager, was you know kind of oh, setting up fights where he thought he had a strong chance of winning. Yeah. You know, and so we wonder that um, with um, you know with with Fifty Cent's character um, Jordan. You wonder if the fights he was setting him up with were easier fights to kind of you know keep the title on him keep the paycheck coming in mm -hmm. um as far as his character uh, an amazing job by 50 cent as yeah. well i mean you know he what, what really are, he's you know he's so good in all the films and it's you know i look i was i was actually djing when in the club came out the yeah. first time you know and uh 2003 breaking, breaking yeah, mixers people, every people time were, people were oh. loving it but uh, an amazing performance amazing when i agree i think they made his character like you wanted to not like him when he went with the other guy, but you take you try to take a step back and be like, okay, he is a promoter, um, so he's his his business is to promote. Look, he, he was putting big fights and big deals in front of uh, in front of yeah. Billy, of course. Um, put him in a tough spot. And and Marine was saying, hey, we need to worry more about our family, and yep. 
like he didn't push it like too too much yeah you know i I, th I will say like it felt pretty greasy when he came back right away and said like you need to get back in the ring but look with some athletes and some you know whether it be athletes race car drivers whatever sometimes when you experience something tragic like you know we've talked about this in other films like getting back to something that's a, a positive focus for you can be therapeutic so i didn't want to like dog on him for that necessarily yeah, it, was, it was a um, complex character i agree it didn't seem like look they they made it very clear that he was living very lavishly i mean that's not uh that's not a two yeah. or three million dollar house right <laughs> i mean like look if you, you have that much success in sports you fully expect that you're gonna have nice things and stuff like that but that's that's not a two or three million dollar <laughs> house that's that's way more than that and then of course at the end they showed a ferrari they showed his mercedes they showed get a roll uh, they had shown oh, yeah. royce being taken away so and, i mean and that was just labeled five so yeah. who knows how many right had, you know too. they showed they showed he was giving away watches to all his friends you know and they, I went they had his friends be like oh another one yeah. you know um so th look they showed that his spending habits so i do agree a kind of a cautionary tale and something that's uh, unfortunately not I don't even I don't want to say not unusual because it sounds but not unheard of you know we see a lot of athletes and you know and I, I don't want to point fingers because look a lot of times you get people who come from you know certain situations and all of a sudden you throw a bag of money at them look this the, I, I don't even want to put this on athletes because this happens to just normal people Every, yeah, yeah. win the lottery yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, you know it was it was a, it was a solid story um, for me but yeah the acting was incredible I liked that they showed um, you know, they showed uh, his. Uh, was it? Was it John? John. 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 They showed John. Yeah, John. That, that, that's came I, back. I don't know if it's going to make the cut, but he came back. He was driving a car that was like, like I, I'm. I have some friends who are watch people. I don't know this particular look. I know APs and Rolexes and you know whatever. I, I don't know what kind of watch that was, but you know they made a pretty big deal of it. The case they came in, it was expensive, and he kept it as a gift instead of selling it to you know, get a nicer car. And they kind of made a joke earlier, the one guy was talking about selling it so he could pay some taxes, yeah, you know? Taxes, that's right. Um, but so um, loyalty from his friends, I mean, look, the, his Marine said in the beginning, yeah. look, when, when you lose it, they're gonna scatter like roaches. And his guy came back yeah, in his John old John. car, said he didn't need anything. He, you know, he, he didn't pawn off the, the watch and um, and that showed a lot of loyalty. Um, this, look, this, the, 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 the the way they told the story with his wife passing and that was kind of like look you, you could have had him leave boxing and not have his wife pass and some of those financial woes may still have still have come right, right? um but the the way they showed like that's what kind of put him into his his downfall was unique um you know the obviously the relationship with him and his daughter very strong uh, you know, very you know very hard to watch you know see we struggled to watch that so many emotional moments you know when when it's so hard and it's one of those situations where truly unless you're in that spot like you never know how would you respond you know and as a parent you know you you see other you see in, in film and tv and you see in real life well, you know when a parent passes you got to stay strong for the kids you got to stay strong for the kids you gotta remember like they had nobody they didn't have they, they, they didn't have point. any family he didn't yeah have family both of them came he didn't have her system. family like yep he had nobody and you can't tell somebody you know it, look you you can't say look your responsibility as a parent is to look out for your kids and i fully understand that and that's the right thing to say but like who's looking out for you and you would never know how you would handle that and it's like so you, you know yeah he had his pretty severe missteps as a father but at yep. the same time he was trying to navigate how he was going to deal with that loss which was really powerful um well and and for bobby not knowing what to do in those situations he never had to know what to do in those situations yeah, he care. you know and yeah. i'm sure i'm sure that's another thing that a lot of athletes go through like look your job is to box that's what you do you box for this small time frame that you have to be a pro athlete you know whether it's you know two and a half years or you're tom brady and it's 20 years but either way you've got that short window and that is your job in that window yeah the average nfl career is yeah. like two and a half years yeah. or four years yeah yeah. So you know, and they and they also you know made it clear that him and Rachel McAdams or Maureen Mo, they they were together since they, he met her when she was twelve. Yeah. I mean, so imagine spending that much time with somebody. Look, there's a lot to be said for um, being with somebody who is with you when you didn't have a lot, and then you know knowing that that's not why they're with you, right? Yeah. Like it's look when you when you when when you're doing real well for yourself, and look, I'm not. Uh, 
I'm not buying any $30 million houses anytime soon, but when you got that kind of money, you got to imagine you question He's people's motives in your normal friendships, you question people's motives in, you know, relationships. And um, look, she was with him since he was 12, so it's like, that's a tough loss. And then, of course, look, the, the entire comeback thing I thought was great. Forrest Whitaker, I mean, what an incredible, incredible job he did in this film. He felt like he was a coach. He felt like he was a mentor, again, kind of like the Mick to Rocky type yeah. thing. You know, and I, I love I love the Rocky movies. So for me, you know, kind of going back to the boxing uh, was great. You know, the way he had him switch up to Southpaw at the end and, yep. you know, worked on his defense. So it's not like he just came in and, uh, you know, just you know, went on cruise control with him he taught him a new way to fight you know told him he needed to channel his anger and uh in this movie and look and he and he came out with a win at yeah. the end i genuinely did not know if he was gonna win yeah. or not yeah, i was so. more i was leaning like 60 40 he was probably gonna lose well, the fight because, well well yeah because we've seen judge. that time and time again where yeah. it's it's sometimes it's not about the win or loss it's right about the inner coming winning. Back. Yeah, yeah so i mean look because yep. we know look we know he probably made a lot of money on these yeah. fights. Look, a championship fight, everybody's making a few million, right? Right. Um, well, nowadays, yeah. So, you know, and so, you know, he comes out, like, this is a chance for him, if, you know, done responsibly this time, to get a house, to secure a future for him and his daughter. So even if he walked away with the L, it's like, you still, he's still, he's the, still the, the opportunity. And not to mention, like, of, of course, we're not foreshadowing. This is the movie. It is what it is. But it also, you could assume it set him up for at least maybe a few more a few more fights if he oh, if he wanted to yeah to earn more i mean money, you can you can sit here and like i watch on netflix is like tyson fury like how he wants to settle down but then that fighter kicks back up yep. and i'm and he, 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 he's yeah. back to training i mean it's it's, it's funny he wants to go on vacation so does his wife and then it's like 20 minutes later he's like well i, I gotta get yeah, to the gym where are you we're supposed to leave <laughs> yeah it's interesting i mean I, I don't follow boxing that close but i do know that we see a lot of boxers like in in any sport and i just don't want to put on boxing but i think there's something different about playing a certain sport in combat sports yes look there's there's I, I i did look just we're just you know martial arts tournaments and it was fighting you know full contact you know headgear and stuff like that and there's a different part of you that comes out when you're when you're in that physical contact that comes out you know and I, I did football and wrestling and other you know contact type sports it's different and so to to take that part of you that fighter part of you that mentality and, and put it on the bench I'm imagining is as difficult as it is for any sport to, to step away and and retire, you know. But uh, a, a great film. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, this one's yours because it has the glasses. And real quick though, too, like yeah, I get your guys' points on Fifty Cent, but he also right before the fight goes, I only gave him six weeks to train. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Was, so was, he's yeah, still kind so, of a shyster yeah, to me. He won. And when he well, said, uh, and when so he said I, we're not business with I family, will, and then straight out goes, we're business to him. I will. Yeah, that's say, I will really say are. this, and I wonder, I, I wonder if there's any theories about this. Okay, now, I still love you, Fitty. Okay, now he sets up the fight. Only gives Billy six weeks to train, knowing the odds would be very against him. Then he goes and pays off the ref for Billy and makes the bet against yeah, Billy. Yeah, makes all the money. There's probably some fan theories out there. That yeah, would be yeah. funny. What is yeah. it? You know, but hey. Like Don King? <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> Well, I'll get my score going here right off the bat. Again, I loved everything about this movie. Uh, the details that were in it were incredible. And one of the details that I missed, that answer kind of reminded me of, I forget what you were talking about, but it reminded me of, uh, I, I talked about how, you know, how Bobby didn't know what to do. And he kind of had, he was almost childlike in some of the situations with his daughter. Mm -hmm. And they kind of showed that with like the spelling and the reading and him struggling to write down his speech and stuff. Yep. But I found it interesting. It was a nice little detail. I don't know if it was done on purpose or if Ona actually wears glasses, but I thought giving her glasses almost made her look like a little bit more mature and like she was almost the parent in a few of those situations and it it oh, kind yeah, of flipped so again that was another detail that i thought was really well done and i wanted to uh, to get that out because everybody just crushed on this and the details and the, the camera work in the boxing ring was incredible as well so Oops. no surprise five out of five answers for me this movie was perfect uh 
if there was any critics out there who maybe didn't like because they thought the story was too cliched or whatever, uh, I think you missed the point. Yeah, the, the only part, I mean, the only part that we <laughs> were a, like. That's what as blunt as I've ever heard me as a Quinn yeah. be in a while. I mean, the only, the only thing is like we wanted, we wanted, you know, Layla to come down to the ring and watch yeah, the fight. But, but would that, that, have could, that could have been too cliche yeah, that too he cheap. needed her to be there. So yeah. I like that they, they it seemed like they're, Every little time that she was getting worried, I thought they were gonna they're they're just teasing it. Like, yeah, is it? Is she no. Go? <laughs> yeah, no. So I thought it was great because then because then that made that moment to end the movie with them yep. in the locker room that much more powerful and that much more emotional. Yeah. And for me, it's an easy five. This was so much fun to watch. Um, there's this so is a cheap. movie that if you watch, if you would watch in the if you'd watch in the theater, you'd be like, all right, let's go, let's yeah. go and get it. You know, you'd be all yeah. pumped and ready to go. So, Love yeah, um, yeah, this was this was a phenomenal. This was a five for me. Um, what what, what yeah. can I say that I didn't already say in the interview or the, the review, rather, the interview, the that review? Too. Hey, that, hey that since too. you're going, uh, the one scene uh, with, with between Gyllenhaal, Forrest Whitaker, where they're talking about Hoppy outside the ring. Oh. I thought that was incredibly emotional yeah. between those two. And uh, I that character, I thought, was kind of bringing him around. And I wanted to give that credit because uh, I thought the, the actor who played Hoppy, Skylin Brooks, did an amazing job. And I realized we didn't bring that up. So I just wanted well, to Well, you know, and I, I think that... You know, I'm glad you did bring that up because you know it also gave um, it gave uh, Billy just enough insight as to why Tick was doing what he was doing. All of a sudden, Billy mm -hmm. found himself in the role of Tick, like, "Hey, this kid's been wearing the same clothes." Yeah. You know, and um, and yeah, that was a really that was a really powerful moment where they sat down with each other, and um, you know, I think um, I think Tick saw that, you know, he. He said, I wish, you know, kind of, he wished he would have done something for Hoppy. Like, I knew Hoppy was in a bad situation. Yeah, I wish he would have done something. Yeah. And I think he saw, like, okay, Billy's in a bad situation right now. He's in a bad spot, and I have the ability to do something. Um, and, and he wanted to take that opportunity. Yeah. So that was. Well, they did. And yeah. So thank you for bringing that up. But a, a five for me, um, again, is it. Is it <laughs> Were maybe some of the things cliche? Sure, yeah, I, I, I don't still, care. And I, 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 I don't care. It was, it was I that agree good. With the things. way it was done was done beautifully. And I mean, five if across. It, the if you can get three guys to cry, I think they're doing something right. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Quinn said he stubbed his toe, but uh, so, and I'm kidding. But uh, for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm Course Answer. Thank you for joining us. We love this. Hopefully you love it too. Good night now.